Welcome back to the Fellas Studios Vlogs, where we take you behind the scenes and show you what actually happens at a podcast production company run by two YouTubers. Hello, Sky. No, no you can't do it through the sky. No, you do. No, you That's how you do it. This is so extra. Hello, Sky. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> Hello, Sky. You don't do anything. You can't do it by the remote. You can't hold down, hold down. Can't, we have got our first company, All Hands, in um, in an attempt to improve communication throughout the company. So one of our big goals this year was to communicate the wider company's goals and sort of targets, achievements, milestones, things like that. So we introduced something called the All Hands. There's always a bunch of questions and hopefully this meeting that we're going to have should answer the majority of them. There's always still a couple really rogue ones, but yeah, it's exciting. And Dad and Girls just launched recently, Rufus, this week. We've got another two to three shows in contract negotiations right now, and hopefully they get over the line and that'll be uh, another addition to the slate. One of the most exciting things about the All Hands is we get to announce any new projects or big things that we're working on, and uh, it's safe to say that we've got plenty of those coming up, which is uh, really exciting. Pitch Side is going to be the next show that gets merch. Um, after that, we need to wait until March for when the supplier has a new system set up, and then office tracksuits are also in production. You can wear it to work, you can wear it to wherever you want, it will have the logos on. So we've got the lovely Will, we've got the lovely Jordan, and we have the lovely George. So welcome you guys, um, super exciting, the team is growing, uh, more people to come. We do not have any finance people at this company at the moment. We are at the stage where we want to be making more informed decisions, particularly around um, the financial side of things. Another role that we're looking at is a head of content role, all about just leveling up quality control and making sure that the studios is heading in the right direction. Lots of big roles being hired here at the Fellas Stew. I'm excited. We have now taken a new room in the building, which will be our overflow office. Even that office is not going to be for long. Um, we've got plans to move into a new office, our own place, uh, multiple floors for studios, for sets, for office. Really exciting place, space, um, fingers crossed. I can't show any more than that. The main office is just getting so loud, so busy, it's actually quite hard to concentrate. So with the growing uh, workforce that we have here, um, it's exciting to be able to have another new space. With that being said, I'm not too sure how long-term it's gonna be because the end goal really is to get our own building. Um, and I think that might be sooner than people realize. Psychic Sally's in the office. That's a perk you don't get every day. What is the worst thing that they could tell you? Like, what's something um, that you, you would not want to hear? God. Yeah, tell the vlogger secret. A child this year. Oh, okay. Bad news. <laughs> you don't fancy one today, Carl? No, nah, man, I stay away from that devil worshipping shit. <laughs> that devil worshipping. <laughs> Are we supposed to ask her questions or is she just going to say like what she feels? Don't know. I don't know. I'm hoping for pay rise, um, new house, um, good vibes. <laughs> Why is that happen? I don't. She's a psychic, not a magician. <laughs> yeah, well, I, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah, tell him. Tell him, Sally. I'm Rosie. I'm the producer for Saving Grace and for Not My Bag. Have you ever done this before? No. I've wanted to for years. Have you? But always got too nervous. I feel very nervous right now. Oh, we don't. I mean, I'm not frightening, am I? No, you're not, but I just don't know what I'm going to hear. I've met you once before, and you said like one thing for me, what well, actually was true. And um, no, but I've never had a proper reading before. Right. Any questions? Uh, will I ever get married? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Cool. Okay. Who's Simon? Uh, nobody that I know. Who's Callum? My boss. <laughs> <laughs> so Callum, your boss, yeah. are you the one out of everybody that works alongside him? Yeah. Yeah, he's in a right to an eight at the moment, mate. You're perfectly healthy, so any issues that you have are all to do with burnout. It's like, stop, I'm only going to be able to do that, I'm being honest with you, so can you just push that to one side? Yeah. It's not everyone else's fault that he's got the stress, he's the boss. Responsibility, broad shoulders, Callum, yeah. behave yourself, you will have um, two men around you that will want to, almost you could say, ride on your coattails, will want to be part of something you're doing. You're going to be feeling as if you need to do this on your own and you must do it on your own. You can only do what you can do. 
you ain't gonna marry a racing driver. <laughs> okay. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. You have a very, very good future. Amazing things for you. Okay. You've been let down where promotion and where expansion is connected with your work. Yeah. Someone I have been let down before. Yeah, well you quite recently because someone overtook you when they shouldn't have done. You've got a, a very good eye and your um, visualization of how you see things is excellent. You're not at all, you're not a bitter person. And no, you, I'm pretty you, chilled. Well, you are, but you're so chilled, you know, you're sort of laying back and it's a bit like, whoa, wait a minute, she's not getting what she should be getting. Right. So you need to look at that work-wise. You're hearing this, you're hearing this, guys. You've just taken on a new role. Yeah, something, well, kind of recently. Yeah, that's, that's developing, because that's evolving, but everything will be all right and you're handling it really well. You'll have something come your way where you could make things very right for the group around you. Wow. But, yeah, but oh, you need recognition for that. What you want to do, if he starts at you, you're going to say, do you know what? I don't need all this shit. I am going to, I'm going to move back from that. Callum, talk to me when you're in a better frame of mind. Okay, that's, that's good to know. Pleasure to meet you. I'm terrified of you, you know. I'm terrified you, and so you should be. Oh, I know. Lots of people in here that want to raise. <laughs> <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Don't need that. Don't wait. Up it, Callum. Right, I want a feedback. Was it good? Yes. yes. They've Honestly, all come back. Absolutely. Because they didn't give marvelous. anything away. No. Nothing away whatsoever. I the overs, and then I do it every certain day when. No, Someone's found my secret stash and it's trash. <laughs> my secret stash and uh, they've been going in there. Well, I have to hide snacks in there because everyone eats them all. And uh, I've been hiding some just to make sure we're kind of dividing them up properly. And now somebody's found it and keeps taking them. I don't know who it is, but I'm thinking Lewis. You've got a guilty look on your face, son. Well, I may have a sandwich here, but it is Lewis Boat for sure. You oh. look guilty, yeah. yeah. Do no, I'm enjoying the. Steal my cheese strings. No, <laughs> that, no one saw it. That's something. No one saw it. I'm enjoying the um, lovely display of uh, breakfast right now. The secret oh, store isn't really a secret store. No, Aiden found it in about yeah. ten seconds. It's not a secret. Yeah. Oh, oh, you've got oh, I like to call it that, but it's not secret. I just like to let people know it is there. Just don't touch it. There have been accusations flying around upstairs. You weren't there that you were the one stealing Ness's secret snacks. Where's the proof? I know where they were. So was it you stealing them? I'm not obligated to answer your questions. Who is the daring, mischievous snack thief? Well, I can tell you I know who it is. It's me. It's me. Uh, but also, there is a plot twist because I've been stealing them on the weekend. There's actually a second thief out there. But I want to say this to you right now, Ness. I don't care. What are you going to do to stop me? I just need to know who it is. I'm just, I just need to know. So if anybody knows, tell me now. It's definitely Lewis. <laughs> show, hey, show me some hard evidence. There's a specific thing they keep taking, whoever it is. By the way, I will find out. <laughs> what do they, what do they, they keep they taking take? one of the breakfast bars with the chocolate bits in there, and I don't feel like that's like your thing. The Nutri-Grain? Yeah. I love the Nutri-Grain, oh, but it's not me. Oh, it's not me. Oh, is it you? But the question still remains. Who's the other thief? And why are they stealing healthy stuff, the nerds? I'll find out. A mystery to get to the bottom of. I'll find out, and then I'll hand them their P45. Whatever. So, we teamed up with Woot. Now, they have sent us, I think, like, 30 of these bands. And we're going to see who can get the best strain, the best recovery, and the best sleep. Now, I actually completed something called 75 Hard at the end of last year, and I did it in collaboration with Woot. And I reached out to him and I said, look, I had an amazing time wearing it throughout the whole of 75 Hard. Is there any chance that we could strike some sort of a deal so that I can offer it for free to the people here at the Fellas Studios? Now, we have managed to kit out the entire office with Woot Bands, but it doesn't end there. So every single month, we're gonna be running competitions using the Woot Band, and then at the end of those months, we're gonna put the people that qualify into raffles to win some pretty sick prizes. To be in with a chance of winning a prize, you'll need a sleep score of 85%, a recovery rate of 65%, or an average strain of 13. What sort of prizes have we got on offer? I can't tell you that. You have to stay tuned for the vlog where we do the reveal. Who do I think is going to be the most active? 
Annoyingly, it probably is going to be prodded. I think we could be surprised, you know. Yeah, I'm back in Molly. Fuck it. Why not? Who's going to be the most active? Same class. The most active with the whoop. Came me out of that right away. Fucking not me, put it that way. Definitely not me. Not me. <laughs> Do you know what? I don't want to say it, but I will say Lewis. Me? Do you see how busy and active I was just then? You've got to back yourself, man. I feel like Proddy, but I'd back myself. A strong dark horse. I'm coming for the title too. This I can't even thing. say that one. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing. We really want to encourage everybody to be fitter, healthier, and lead a better life. So this is going to be a really exciting partnership. And big up Whoop for getting on board with it. I've got a cheat code to winning all of this, by the way. How do you do it? I'm doing marathon training, so uh, I should absolutely just. Oh my, God, my name's Brody, and I love to run marathon. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, that was cool. Nice you missed me. You, we you have missed, missed me. You. The vlog has missed you. I know. How has the last month been? No, I'm really excited. I've been having the best time. Um, I actually really loved it. How's it been the last month? Chaotic. Yeah. What's fun there? Oh, good. Are you excited for it to be over? over? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How's but it been yeah, the last month? It's been so good. It's been fucking stressful. Yeah? And tiring. And full of penis. I panicked. <laughs> it wasn't full of penis. That was <laughs> such a panic <laughs> comment. It was, it was. I sweated then as well. <laughs> I just didn't want to say. Are you excited for it to be the last show? Or? No, I'm actually really sad it's the last show. Yeah. So maybe I'll do another one. Over the last month, the Saving Grace team have been away on a sold out tour. It's taken them to 13 different venues across the UK in front of 17,000 fans and all culminating in a final iconic night at the London Palladium. London Palladium means a lot to me because I used to go there as a kid. So I'm very much like... It was a big experience like to actually be there and be backstage and obviously like run the show and like so i, I felt the pressure because i thought like god like three-year-old rosie would be like so excited right now it was the final show i felt like fine with it i felt prepped i felt like i knew exactly obviously what was going to do what was going to do uh, what's going on where are you taking me now i'm taking you to the meeting group so basically people pay <laughs> um to meet grace for a very special meet and greet so she gets to chat to them take pictures all that lot. God, these stairs are long. No. <laughs> You're excited oh, to meet some fans? I'm fucking bossing, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I haven't got a few chef codes, you know. Oh, yeah, I'm getting loose. Nice getting loose. Getting a bit yeah, loose. Yeah, yeah, we like Hello. it. Do you like my flag? I did like your flag. You're all going upside down. Upside down, yeah. England. <laughs> I love it. This is it my is really good. Is that going to end up on the set, is it? Yeah, of course. I'm going to hang it in my fucking living room at home. That's what I like to hear. Tear all the men that come. <laughs> right, so we've got a special guest on tonight. I'll whisper it. It's Katie Price. And she's going to sing what's even more crazy. the second half we do dilemmas so either I go around in the crowd find some dilemmas but also people send them in and then the last bit is a blind date but our blind date this today is extra 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 good oh yeah why Tom Garrett yeah well some lucky lady's gonna be coming home with Tommy Garrett so <laughs> you excited for it I've been stitched up majorly majorly I didn't realise how big it is you know Tom he, he loves it. He also, he's very, very nice. He's a good friend to all of us at the office and he will get involved in most things if you tell him that we've got some drinks on stage for him. So as long as I had some beer there, he was going to be there. Hey! Hey! Look at this queen. Hey, You're all right, man. Thank you for coming tonight. I appreciate nice. it. Yeah, obviously. I'm a bit nervous. I didn't realise it was this big. Why? It's fucking massive. You're nervous. I'm going to get Carl. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> You've done about 30 Do you know what's funny? Someone in the crowd went, Tom Garrett, like on a show before, and everyone went, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to come out topless. So with the meet and greet done, Tom looking for love and Grace all glammed up, it was time to get her to the stage for her final show. Thank you for coming and cue the come.
Grace had the best time ever. She has not stopped. She's been like an absolute gem though. I've, I've never known someone every, nearly every single day, like get up, get glammed and like do a proper performance. And I think it all wrapped up like, cause the show was so good at the last one. It kind of wrapped the tour up nicely that it was such a, ended on such a high and the party afterwards was really, really fun. Grace oh, looks okay. fucking sensational. Yeah, Grace looks insane. <laughs> Every show has she not looked on fucking point. Yeah. Beyonce, move over. <laughs> <laughs> DK Barry in town.